It's yet another session of deliberations on how to reduce climate change to the BRS minimum. And all the key facets of the society are not left out. And the world world came together. This is the Abuja Climate Summit, and the organizers strongly believe it's a platform that will aid the control of climate change. So we want people to know that climate change is one of the number one problems facing the world. All of us, but the rich, but the poor, no one is exempt. But for this event today, uh, in Nigeria, we are in an electionary year, and uh, a quick study of all the political parties, and we discussed in their manifestos, there is no word climate change or renewable energy. And um, we expect that after this, climate change will become a campaign issue for the 2019 elections, that they should begin to tell us what plans they have uh, about the climate change crisis and then their plans for renewable energy. But uh, more so that as a country, it is high time we stop gas flaring. We are about the only country in the world that is still flaring gas as at now. And then we should seriously implement the Paris Agreement. And we also call on all businessmen in Nigeria, uh, I, I'm not afraid to mention Dangote, to invest in renewable energy. The complaint is that it is expensive, but if we have this investment in Africa, in Nigeria, the prices will come down. And it is worth investing in. The summit had the backings of the federal government. The federal government of Nigeria has signed to the Paris Agreement and is also rolling out action plans for the implementation of those actions. The Paris Agreement was signed by Nigeria in December 2015 and ratified by the government of Nigeria in 2017. The month of September was designed by the United Nations as a period for global action against effects of climate change. 